Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey Gurian here for the Happiness Channel and uh, today we're going to be talking about another concept from my new book on happiness which became a bestseller on Amazon called Healing Your Heart by Changing Your Mind A Spiritual and Humorous Approach to Achieving Happiness uh, We're going to be talking about the concept of cellular memory which is a really powerful concept and very interesting to me uh, it's the concept that, that every single thing that's happened to you since you were born that you've experienced in your, your senses, which is seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and feeling, is still inside of you. Um, every single thing that's happened, our bodies and our minds are like video recorders that take in everything without you even noticing. It's the reason that you can use affirmations and place them all around your house and not think that you have to stop and actually read them in order to uh, internalize the information because as you're walking around every day uh, your eyes are taking in everything that's around you it's, the, it's also the reason why you can have dreams filled with people that you think you don't know they're probably people that you passed during the course of the day that you saw and internalized and didn't even realize that you were seeing them uh, uh, very often the police use that they'll hypnotize somebody to help them remember something that they don't recall seeing when they were actually present for an incident that happened. So cellular memory is very powerful because uh, for some reason our traumatic events are ingrained deeper than our happy events. You remember every single thing that happened but the traumatic events are really ingrained deeply into your consciousness. It's the reason um, you can hear a song that you like and it'll remind you of the girl or boy that you liked in the third grade and it happens just like that. There's no thought involved. Or you'll smell a perfume and you'll be like, wow, my kindergarten teacher wore that perfume. And it takes you right back to that. It's like a sensory deja vu. There's no thought involved. It's instantaneous. And those kind of things happen all day long. We get these little triggers uh, that trigger painful memories which are the heart wounds that I talk about in the book. Uh, every time someone has hurt you in some way or broken a promise or lied to you or not done what they told you they would do or let you down in some way, it lodges in our heart chakra and we keep them inside of us, these heart wounds, and they affect our self-esteem and our self-confidence and they affect every decision that we make during the course of our lives because every decision that you have to make you base it on your thoughts and if your thoughts are faulty your decisions are not going to work out for you so during the course of your day things may happen people will cross your path you'll hear a, a word like if you were if you were dating somebody who lived on 13th Street and you broke up every time you pass 13th Street or even hear the words 13th Street you're gonna get a little twinge in your body it reminds you and interestingly enough every single part of your body has its own consciousness. It's not only your brain that has consciousness, it's in every part of you. So that when you're feeling nervous or stressed, you might feel it in your stomach, you might get a backache, your neck might get tight. Every part of your body responds to what's going on around you. So with cellular memory, it's very important to understand that because part of releasing these heart wounds that we have is working on changing your cellular memory working on changing you can't change the the trigger but you can change your response you can change the response that it elicits so that eventually you can experience these so-called painful things but they won't bring back the painful memories and you won't get the physical response that you had before and that's the essence of cellular memory and that's a lot about what we work with when we're doing healing work especially with STAR therapy, which I explained in my last video, that stands for Spiritual Transformational Affirmative Resonance Therapy. I hope you'll check out the book and look at the other videos on the channel. Uh, we'll be posting a video every week, and I look forward to uh, having you on the channel. So thanks very much, and have a great day.